But obviously for me, I notice the difference. When I look in a mirror and I see a straight nose, I'm a lot happier. And I think the biggest difference is the profile, mm. the side profile. And I notice that myself. And the tip of my nose is completely different. Mm. Before it was quite projected, um, but now I see a smaller nose. I think it suits my face more. And um, I often think it might have been the nose I might have had had I not broken my nose. So when I was younger, um, I had an accident. Um, and I think that's when I broke my nose. And so it's always been like this. I've always been conscious of it. And I've always wanted to have it put right because I don't think it is right on my face. A friend of mine had the procedure done and I was really impressed with how quickly she recovered because usually when people have any facial surgery it's a long recovery period but hers was very quick and the instant results as well so I went on her recommendation. So tell me what exactly is it that you dislike? I don't like the way it's not straight. I don't like the um, bump that I've got on my nose. And I don't like the way it comes out so far. Okay, so you've pointed out uh, a number of factors uh, on your nose that can be corrected. It would be appropriate in your case to carry out uh, an open rhinoplasty in order to address all of those issues uh, together. Uh, an open rhinoplasty gives better access to the nose and one of the one of the factors here is that your nose is not quite straight. I've had a look inside your nose and uh, the septum which is the plate or cartilage which divides the left and right air passages it's off centre it's off to one side. So the degree to which the tip protrudes from the front of your face that can be taken down somewhat. One has to be a little bit careful because you've got quite a strong chin so uh, that only needs to be carried out in proportion to the rest of your facial features. Now in terms of the bump here, we call that dorsal hump in medical terms, that can be reduced as well and we're going to be using this new technology utilising a piezotone uh, and this procedure is called an ultrasonic rhinoplasty in order to reshape uh, and take down the bony part, bony part of, the, of the nose. Now today we're going to use a particularly special technique. It's a, it's a new technique which uh, utilises a new kind of technology to reshape the bone in rhinoplasty. Uh, it uses ultrasonic energy to sculpt uh, the bone into its new position. And the advantages of this technique are that, first of all, it's much more precise. This is a very, very uh, new tool which gives us, as surgeons, much more precision. The other great advantage is that the way the energy is tuned into the tissues, it only cuts and reshapes the bone. So there's no damage to the surrounding soft tissues or the skin or the lining of the nose. And for you, the big advantage here is that it really minimizes the degree of bruising and swelling after surgery. So you're going to benefit from this technology as part of your rhinoplasty and you'll find that your recovery will be much smoother. So in general terms with rhinoplasty procedures, often under the eyes patients are quite black and blue after surgery mm -hmm. and quite swollen for two to three weeks. Whereas with this technique I've found that uh, the swelling and bruising tends to be much reduced and uh, you'll find your recovery much smoother. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very shame there. Through the discussions I had with my friend, having had the procedure already, and coming to see him and talking through the procedure, I felt confident that he knew what he was doing. It's an exciting day, but I'm also slightly anxious as well, and I'll be glad when it's done, but I'm slightly anxious about the anaesthetic. Yeah, I'd echo that. Anxiety to a degree, um, but I'd also say reassured in, in terms of you know having met obviously uh, Mr. Channer, um, but also the other staff and the sort of ecosystem of staff that are here in the hospital who you know, just reassured by the skill sets, um, the positivity. Um, so yeah, just generally reassured, which counterbalances the anxiety that 
we were feeling certainly through the morning. Mr Charna and the anaesthetist both came in this morning to have a chat with me and were able to put my mind at ease and I'm feeling a bit more relaxed about the procedure now. We checked in at seven o'clock this morning. Um, I'm having the procedure today. I'm staying overnight and then hopefully I'll be going home tomorrow. I'm going to be going home with a small cast on my face and a plaster, um, but I'll be taking home medicine, painkillers and antibiotics with me as well. So initially I was quite shocked and the first night I think is quite difficult um, but once I got home within a couple of days I was back on my feet um, and I actually had to force myself to take it easy because you feel quite good after a couple of days. Um, the first week when I still had the cast on my face was quite difficult when people saw me they were quite shocked. That's about 12, 13 weeks on now. Nobody at my work even noticed I'd had anything done. So if someone asked me whether I would have it done again, I definitely would, but I think you need to be aware of the, the initial week. The first week is quite difficult. I would definitely recommend Dr. Chana to anyone else um, because of the quick rapid progression that I saw and, and the improvement I had in such a small amount of time. Mm.